When we stayed at Guadalupe River State Park in January, it was a great month. Uh, we really enjoyed it there. But the way Texas has its system set up, you can only stay in a state park for two weeks at a time. So after the 14 days, you have to be gone for at least one night and then you can go back in which is what we did. So we essentially spent a month at the park, but we had to be gone for a night. Um, we took advantage of that, though, by visiting with some friends of ours that live in the San Antonio area. That's one of the things we like best about traveling, actually, is getting to visit with friends and family scattered around the United States. And in this case, it's our friends Scott and Nicole and their kids. And uh, I think that actually they made an appearance in one of our previous videos when we visited them in Alabama a year or so ago. So um, this will be their second appearance on the video in the channel. But they were gracious enough to take us in for actually a couple nights while we stayed out of the park because it gave us a chance to stay with them for the weekend. Now, we did stay in the van in their driveway, um, but it allowed us to get out of the park, hang out with them, you know, have dinner, uh, do some local things in their area and have them show us some of the things that they like to do best in, you know, in the San Antonio area. And you're right. The last time we visited with them, they lived in Alabama. And I'll put a link to that video because in that one, we talked about one of the great things about visiting with people that live in an area and staying with them is they're the locals. They kind of know an area and they can point out some things for you to do that you wouldn't necessarily think of if you're just passing through an area. And in this case, one of the things we did was to visit Eisenhower Park, which is uh, a city park for San Antonio. Uh, it's on what used to be part of a military base and the military uh, handed it over basically, I think it was late late 1980s uh, and it's just a, a really nice sort of nature <laughs> captured in San Antonio which if you haven't been in San Antonio or you haven't oh been there gosh. in a while San Antonio has sprawled like crazy so it's a huge place yeah San Antonio is just nuts I, I just can't believe how much yeah, sprawl. Sprawl is the best word for it, but it's ridiculous. But anyways, yeah, Eisenhower Park was great. And it's about five miles of trails and most of them are paved, but there are quite a few sections that are sort of a gravel rock. Um, but they, it all leads to an observation tower where you have a really nice overlook of like the San Antonio kind of metropolitan area. And so that's what we did. We took a couple of the trails and went up to that observation tower and looked around. There's also a playground for the kids and, you know, some benches to sit on and, and just enjoy the day. And the day we were there, it was it was in January and it was actually a really nice day. I think it was close to 70 and there were a lot of people out there. It is dog friendly as long as they're on a leash. And that seemed to be very popular with uh, pet owners. <laughs> there were a lot of dogs there. And what I found really interesting is, as you mentioned, we've got video to show you kind of the mix of the trails because there were some that were pretty rocky and you're climbing and, and there's others that, you know, there's a lot of trees you can walk through. But what I liked about it was there are different ways to get to the observation tower area and they specifically have them set up so that if you have a situation where you have a handicapped person and you need more of a, a paved or hard packed surface those are available there's shorter trails there's longer trails i just thought it was done really well in a way that no matter what your abilities or your capabilities that, that you could find a way to get out there and enjoy that park and i really like that it's not what i expected from texas i'm not really sure what i expected other than the very stereotypical ranch, wide open, flat prairie land. Um, but hill country has been very impressive and having rocks and elevation and it's all, it's really cool. Another good thing that we always like to do when we visit friends is check out the local dining establishments. And so they took us to a couple of really nice restaurants, a really good Mexican restaurant and a really good breakfast place. Uh, Magnolia something, I can't exactly remember the thing, Magnolia pancakes or waffles or something, but it had really good breakfast. That's all you need to know. And um, there's actually a couple of locations. So maybe we can link to it or put, put it here because if you're in the San Antonio area, you'll, you'll definitely want to check that place out. Yeah. And, and that's just really nice because those aren't places that we would have known about. And so our friends were able to share that with us. Well, and they also take you places that you might think, I don't want to go there. Why would I go there? And that would be um, the, the Bucky's that they oh, took us to. That has, that has like a <laughs> hundred gas pumps. Now there are Bucky's all over in Texas when you're in this area and you see them all the time in the, you know, the road signs and, and the, the billboards and everybody talks about, you got to go to Bucky's. But we went to one of the largest ones and I think there are over a hundred gas pumps there. They have the wall of candy. There's the wall of jerky. Uh, there is the wall of you yeah, name it. Everything. Everything is there. And what was funny was we walked in and, and I stopped you and I just said, hey, what's your first impression? And 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 we're going to roll that so you can see it. Bucky's is a bit much. It's definitely an experience. Um, 
It's very overwhelming when you first walk in the door, but there's a lot to see. There's the world famous beef jerky, there's home goods, there's food, there's drinks, there's, there's everything, like literally everything. <laughs> So basically, <laughs> everything was there. And that's, I, you know, we actually kind of enjoyed it when we were done. Bucky's is an experience, and you should go there, regardless if it's one of the smaller ones or one of the bigger ones, because they, they do have that same wall of candy and the slushy machines and the jerky. That's a lot of what Bucky's is known for. Uh, the one we happened to go to also had a lot of the souvenirs and the gifts, and there was a whole wall of nothing but like more gift and craft type stuff too. So they're all going to be a little bit different. And we actually had an opportunity with some other friends to visit the very first Bucky's. And that was in a, and I don't remember exactly what part of Texas that is. Sorry. Um, but the difference was that was just more of like a local convenience store size Bucky's, whereas this was like mall of America sized Bucky's. <laughs> So. And this had, they all sell Bucky's merchandise, and the, but the Mall of America Bucky's that we went to, you, anything you want with Bucky the Beaver on it. Oh, let's see. Masks, bandanas, shirts, sleepwear, socks, pajamas, or I think, yeah, sleepwear, swimsuits. I definitely saw Bucky swimsuits. Towels. D literally anything. Mugs. Anything with, like, Bucky the Beaver on it. Yep. Um, they even have, instead of, for their little animal <laughs> crackers, they sell Bucky branded um, little beaver crackers. <laughs> I know. So they clearly have the marketing part of this figured out. But if you get a chance, if you're in Texas and you're anywhere near a Bucky, stop in and see it. But if you are in the one near San Antonio, that's the giant one, that's actually worth stopping. <laughs> As silly as that is, there are places along the way that, that we always say, don't miss. And sometimes there are these amazing historical stops and other times they're basically giant marketing convenience stores. <laughs> but their jerky was really good. We did get some of the jerky, so it's not to be missed. With uh, the cherry something or other, smoked cherry, cherry bacon, cherry, not bacon because it was jerky. It was it was something. It was good. Maple cherry. Ooh, maple cherry. Oh, and garlic. There was a really good garlic one, too. And actually, when we bought it, she said, I think the garlic <laughs> is one of their, their most popular ones. Yeah. So get to Bucky's, try some jerky. Try to, some candy. Get to a local park. Get outside <laughs> to walk off all of the candy and the jerky. Get out where you can, when you can. Keep on trekking. And we'll see you out there.